Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you guys an updated tour of my Korean apartment in Gyeonggi-do. I'm living in a three bedroom apartment, so let's go check it out. What I love about this apartment complex is that there's only two apartments per floor, so I only have one neighbor next to me. Right by the door, we have this doorbell camera, so we can actually talk to the person and see who is at our door. To enter the apartment, we just input our code into this keypad, or I can also tap my keychain. This keypad is also fingerprint resistant, so I don't have to worry about anybody seeing my fingerprints and figuring out my code. Once we enter the apartment, we have a small area to take off our shoes. I also put up a curtain here just to give a little more privacy and to block any cold air coming from the door. And of course, I need a dog gate just to keep my dogs from coming in this area. Most people usually will install a sliding door here, but since we are only renting, we are unable to do any renovations to this apartment. Next to the door, I put all of our reusable bags in this closet. That way I can just grab them and go whenever I'm heading to the store. Next to that closet is the shoe closet. There's tons of space for shoes. Luckily, my husband and I don't have that many shoes, so there's still a lot of extra space available. We also have this small screen here. We can call the elevator and turn off any lights and gas before we leave the apartment. Behind the mirrors, we have a huge closet. On this door, I just keep all of my dog's harnesses. Honestly, this closet is mostly dog stuff. I just keep all of their extra blankets in here, their poop bags, their winter clothes, their strollers, and just other random stuff that I can't fit elsewhere. I will put it in here. Right by the entrance, we have our first bathroom. I don't really use this bathroom that much, so it is quite empty. I do want to decorate this bathroom in the future. I definitely want to add maybe a shower curtain and just add some pops of color in here. That way it's just not so plain. All right, so let's head over to the first bedroom. This is my office space slash guest room. For this room, I wanted just to make a comfortable space for me to work and for my dogs to hang out as well. Originally, I wanted to put like a day bed in here, but since my dogs like to be with me, I just decided to put this mattress pad on the floor. That way the dogs can chill out down there. On this side, I just hung up a bunch of pictures and I also have just my desk, printer, and like all of my stationary stuff on this side. And of course, this is my favorite side. It's where I love to just sit and relax with my dogs and take a nap sometimes. On this wall, I just have my small bookshelf. It just has some plants, some books, and just random things. All right, so let's head to the second bedroom of our apartment. For this bedroom, at first we we're deciding if we wanted to keep the dogs in here but ultimately we just decided to use this as my husband's office my husband did not care about decorating his room so i pretty much just set up everything how i wanted to so in my husband's office i put one of my old bookshelves and some plants over there on the left corner that um little shelf is actually from our bedroom closet but i didn't like it in there so i just put it there and my husband also just got some furniture from ikea and coupon and that's pretty much it all right so let's head towards the living room and kitchen next right here i put up another curtain i put this curtain here just to block the view from my dogs because i don't like them seeing when i'm leaving or going and it just helps them to be a bit more calm whenever i have to go somewhere on this wall, we have a huge whiteboard here. I love it so much. I always write like my grocery list on here. I put calendars on here, reminders. So it's just great to have this like right by the door. Next to the whiteboard, I just hung up some hooks and I always hang my bags on here. Next, we have the living room, also known as the dog's room. It's pretty much just 
all of the dog's area. It's not even a living room anymore. Let me open the curtains so you guys can see what the light looks like in here. So we decided to just put the dogs in the living room because we wanted them to have a lot of space to hang out and run around. And yeah, they love being like with us anyway, so there was no point of them having their own room. For the living room, I just put all of these dog mats so it protects them from slipping. And then here, they just have their small potty area, their water bowl, and their extra like supplies over here. On this wall, we have our little screen here so whenever somebody rings the doorbell, we can see them on this monitor. In the living room, I put up this wooden fence to block the dogs from coming into the kitchen. I just didn't want them to be around me while I'm cooking or eating stuff off the floor that they're not supposed to be eating. What I love about this fence is that it is movable, so I'm able to move the fence and block other areas of the room. I usually open this during the daytime so the dogs can run around in the hallways and go into the other rooms. When I want to open the fence, I can just slip it out of this corner and then I just stick it to the kitchen wall over here. And then the dogs can have access to run around in the hall and in the other rooms. This fence also does have a door over here, but I don't really use that door often. I mostly just slide it over whenever I need to. Okay everyone, so I have a little bit of a tip for you all. If you are afraid of your dogs jumping out of these fences, what I did was I bought these kitchen towel hooks and panels from Daiso. And if I know I'm going to be gone for a long time, I put these panels up like this on the fence and it just blocks the dogs from jumping out. My dogs aren't the type to jump over the fence and escape, but my Malti Poo has been able to jump over the fence once when she was really excited. So just for my peace of mind, I like to put these up just for extra protection. Now let's head over to our kitchen. In our kitchen, we are still using our small kitchen table from the previous apartment. I would like to put a bigger table in here, but I'm a little bit worried it'll take up too much room. So for now, we will just be using this. Over here is our pantry. It has a lot of room to hold our snacks and foods. I also like to keep our multivitamins and supplements in here. On the right side, it's just a bunch of random stuff as well as our medicines and first aid kit. As we head into the kitchen, we have this extra space right here. Most Korean households, they will put like a kimchi fridge here or they will have like um, shelves built to put in their oven or microwave. But for us, we still don't know what we want to do with this space. So I am just using one of our old curtains to cover this area. Behind the curtain, I just put one of our old shelves here and it just has the dog food and a bunch of other random stuff. I think eventually I would love to make this into like a small desk area, but I don't know. What do you guys think I should do with this space? On this side of the kitchen, we have an island in the middle. I do wish it was a bit smaller because it does take up quite a bit of room in the kitchen, but I am glad that we do have that extra counter space if we need it. Over here, we have our large LG fridge. I love it so much. It has so much room and space for all of our foods. In this corner, I just put some of our appliances, microwave, blender, water, pot, and then our little tea area as well. Over here is our stove, and then I just keep our utensils and cutting boards behind there. There's also a small little TV here. We can watch the news, some channels, and listen to music on here. And then over here, we have our big sink and dish rack. I love that the kitchen has a window. I'm just so excited about it because I can open the window whenever I'm cooking and it doesn't have to smell. On the kitchen windows, I just put up these stickers that I got from Daiso and it just helps to add a little bit of privacy. Our kitchen has a lot of storage space, but over here, it's probably my favorite. We have these pull-out carts over here. I keep all of my cooking sauces and ingredients over here. So when I'm cooking, I can just pull these out, use them, and then push them back. It just is nice to have my counter space be nice and clean and not cluttered. 
Over here, we have another pull-out cart. I keep what I use the most in here. And then we have a bunch of extra storage space down here for pots and pans. And even the island has extra storage space for all of our kitchen stuff. Behind this curtain is the door into our laundry room. Again, I put up a curtain here just because the door is kind of ugly and I wanted to hide it. When you open the door, you will enter the laundry room. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of space in here as well. We keep our washing machine in here. And then on the door, I like to hang my aprons so I can get them easily when I cook. Down here, I keep our recycling bags because in Korea, we have to recycle everything. So this room is always filled with trash usually. On the right side, I just keep our air fryer and rice cooker here. And then we have a bunch of storage space down here as well. In here, we have a room for the air con. If you guys remember in my empty apartment tour video, I was like, oh yeah, this is the laundry room. Like I can hang and dry my clothes in here, but it's not for drying clothes. It's for your air con. So in the summertime, you open these shades and the air con can blow out the air through these windows. So please do not dry your clothes in these rooms. On the ceiling, we have this hole in the wall with something sticking out. I can't remember if that was there when we took a tour of the apartment. I only remember seeing it after we moved in. But if anybody knows what that is, please let me know. Now let's head to the last room in this apartment, which is our bedroom. So let's go. Okay, so here is my bedroom. My very, very plain bedroom. I do want to decorate my room more, but you know, this girl is poor, so she ain't got no money for decorations. But hopefully in the future, I will be able to decorate it. On the right side, we have our little walk-in closet. It does have a sliding door, but I don't like the sliding door. So I just put up this very airy curtain to let the air circulate in and out of this closet. Our closet has just the right amount of space for my husband and I. However, I did have to sacrifice a little bit of space to put our drawers here. I am a very simple girl, so I tend to just wear the same things over and over. But I do wish I sometimes had this extra space to put more clothes. Over here, we have a longer space to put our longer coats and jackets. And then down here, I just put shelves. I just broke them up and put them on top and bottom. On the bottom, there was actually a drawer. Like I told you guys, that was in my husband's room, but I didn't like it in here. So I moved it in his room. And then in the room, I also put this rug here, but I regret getting that rug online because it's not the color I wanted. And as you can see, my little stalker is always watching me. I also put this big mirror from Ikea and then on the corner, it just has all of my cosmetics and things in there. This is my side of the bed and I just put a little rug here so my feet aren't cold when I wake up. And yeah, that's pretty much our room. Nothing special, just very plain and simple. In our bedroom, we also have this small terrace. I just put up our old closet poles in this room and I hang our clothes to dry in here. Next to our terrace, we have a storage closet. However, I do wish it was just one big long terrace because the storage closet does block sunlight from coming into our room. I have seen other apartment layouts in our apartment complex that do have like just one long big terrace. But when I was choosing this apartment layout, I didn't realize that, you know, that was an option because when you're just looking at like a drawing, it's pretty hard to tell what you like and what you don't like about the apartment. Okay, so now let's leave this closet and go check out the final room in this apartment, which is our bathroom. So here is our bathroom. We have a nice little shower area over here. I did set up this shower curtain because it does get quite cold in here. So the shower curtain just helps to block any cold air. 
Our bathroom does have a little window, so that's really great. And then once you step into the shower, there are two shower heads, a big one and a small one. So that's really great to have those options in here. Our bathroom also has a bidet. This is the first time in my life where I have actually used one and it is a game changer. If you have not used one, you should get one because it is amazing. All right, everybody. So that was my updated Korean apartment tour. But please stick around for a few minutes. I'm going to head outside and show you the recycling area and maybe a little bit around my apartment complex. So let's go. Someone that's on